This will be pretty interesting uh, for Shulk Ganon. Ganon's stocks are up, of course. First, Ganon uh, top eight at a C tier or better in Smash Ultimate history happened just a couple weeks ago. So, you know, invest in Ganon while you can. He's currently getting edge guarded right now. I mean, Fredo fortunate enough to be familiar enough with the Ganon matchup. Ganon, Ganon especially pretty decent Ganons, can definitely kind of check you a bit, put some fear in you, scare you a little bit. But Fredo feeling pretty confident right now using his. Uh, Big uh, Monado hitboxes to evade and run away from the looming threat of the King of Evil. Smash on deck here. He's got to be got to be careful. Swinging big. Second he got hit straight out of Smash. Dark Dive gonna continue the chase here, but it's gonna be hard for uh, it's gonna be hard for him to keep up with all that uh, that speed Monado there. Th pretty early lead for. Fredo to start. Excellent roll and read uh, off of the flame stroke with the up smash. And it's going to get 30 damage off oh. of that wizard's foot. Oh, is this gone? I don't think it's on. It's on. I think he just got a low. He just got a low. So you can't, like, Mr. we're not low. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, he's got it. I, ca I, can't, I can't hear anything. I can hear him. He sounds perfectly fine. I can't. I, I hear nothing. Still hear nothing. I hear, I hear everything. I hear him and I hear the game. A little bit, yeah. There, there's no audio coming in at all. Oh, and while we're trying to figure out the audio, another big edge guard by Fredo. He's going to die for it, but a uh, pretty good trade. He's a whole stock ahead. Plenty of wiggle room against uh, Ganyandorf. No, He's going to hop, hop onto an uh, early 60 damage off the gate, too, with the Buster. It's like static. Nothing still. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. It's kind of coming back. Oh, is this, is this not? Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay. Yeah, it yeah. was like tangled. All right, tangled. I can hear you now. We're good. All right, We're perfect. Good. Anyways, so uh, this, ma <laughs> this matchup is horrible. Uh, a little bit, yeah. Although, <laughs> a little although bit. we just, do you know Major? I do know Major. Yeah, I was talking about that. First first Ganon top eight ever he, he, at, he, a, at a C tier. He, you know he beat a Shulk there, right? He did beat a Shulk to make he top beat, eight. I think Fizzman, who yeah. actually beat Z3 at a Major a little bit. So Fizzman's pretty good. He knows what he's doing. So this matchup is definitely not like, okay, it is free. But it's one of those things where like, Ganon's a character that, un uh, Ganon is a character that like, loses in neutral and in disadvantage, right? Mm -hmm. So, character, and, and I've always said this, like, matchups where your character is okay in neutral, but then you get destroyed in disadvantage, those are always like, winnable in some sense. You just have to not lose neutral and always get the reads, oh, right? Uh, yeah, the problem I is when <laughs> neutrals, the problem is when matchups get hard in neutral. So when you're playing like, peak again, and that one you can't even hit Pikachu, right? Yeah. That one you just lose. As someone who plays better Ganon, like, I, yeah. I feel that. But like, against Shulk, right? Like, yeah, obviously, at least minus two, prob probably, right? But like, the fact is, you can still get the reads, you can still hit him, you just can't get hit. Which right. like, it's hard, but we've seen other Ganons do it, and so it's definitely possible. The problem is like, when you run into matchups that are like Greninja or like super fast characters, like Greninja, Pikachu, tiny ones that you can't even hit in the first place, exactly. then you're screwed. But Shulk, kind of, kind of a, not a big body, but you know he's tall. Yeah. He's he's not hard to hit in that sense. The problem is just how do you not die at zero? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's that, it's that perpetual disadvantage that'll kind of work in it a bit. And I'm and I'm sure Dark Dive. Uh, I know he's pretty fairly new to tournaments, uh, at least uh, on a on a consistent basis. So you know stuff like this playing like. It, you know, there's a little bit of growing pains of getting used to certain matchups that you're just not prepared for. Maybe that are a lot different in person than you yeah. know grinding on Elite Smash. Or especially, something like oh that. my goodness, especially when you die 69 yeah. after hit. I mean, it, especially when like some characters, for example, like Shulk, have these things where, you know, fighting a decent Shulk versus a good Shulk is very different. Like, you might be used to Shulk being like, ah, he, he'll you know get the ledge traps to that. When you fight a Shulk for the first time that like uses his arts correctly and edge guards you with them, it's insane. You like you you die at, like 60 or something, mm -hmm. right? But also, oh, the only the it's only coming in in one ear. Okay. Anyways. Um, oh, big wizard's foot neutral. Not enough though. Less trapping. It's just like yeah. It, if he's got like jumper or speed he, available to him, he's probably getting out, right? Eh, I mean, he he still just needs a read, right? And you only need one. And I think one of the, one of the better things is like, for example, again when he he gets the side B or the up B, right? You can't like. You can't really shield art through a lot of Ganon stuff. Because the only g combo that Ganon has is dash attack, like up air and air. Right. That, or like down or up smash, right? But like that. Oh, audio stopped working. Won wonky, wonky stuff Anyways. like that. I don't know. Oh, 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 my goodness. Uh, uh, I I'm so a robot. Oh, I'm a robot. There we go. Anyways, nope, still doesn't work. It's fine, whatever. Anyways, what I was saying though, like we saw that right, like Shulk, I mean, does shield art out of like dash attack up air. 
Oh, oh that was so unfortunate. <laughs> yeah, but the thing is, Shield Art is not good against characters that have big, meaty hits, like a random Palu backer or a random Ganondorf anything. So, right. This, yeah. is, this has been yeah. the hard part, is like, how, do, how does Ganon combat just, you know, Stroke coming down with him and then just mm -hmm. reacting to his up B with uh, yeah. Air Slash zone. Characters that have just, like, reactive, le like, like edge guarding that don't have, like, even Palo, for example, she has to go off and kind of read you. She has to go for, like, a back or a forwarder, maybe a drop off an air, but, like, characters like that or characters that have really specific edge guarding, like maybe a wolf, mm -hmm. it's kind of do it, hard to do it, but characters like, stuff like Shulk, for example, he can just wait the whole time with a forwarder. The second you jump, he just reactively forwarders and you die. Right. Oh, oh wow, good. that that's a good parry, but man, you have to just grab there. Like yeah. you have to know that. I mean, that just comes with experience, right? Like knowing what isn't isn't punishable. Mm -hmm. Um, and it's just, it's still definitely winnable for him. He just needs to like find this kill now, like immediately, almost. Yep, yeah, check almost through it. Shield Shield Art's gonna, like, well, was gonna keep Raider alive for a little longer. We'll see what he can do there. Nice up B, and now last stock each, and uh, you know, honestly, with Ganon being such a heavyweight, and oh, oh, the sweet spot wow. backslash. I don't even believe that was intentional, but if it was, good job, Fredo. I think he turned around to like back air, and he just he just put his back he just put his back. <laughs> I to will him. never believe any Shulk uses backslash intentionally. Oh, Ooh, good luck, Bob Liz. Oh, 